Hi, in this video, I'm going to show you how you can use ChatGPT to generate a new flowchart. With ChatGPT, we can create a lot of contents, but also we can create a flowchart, which is quite cool. So I'm going to use Drive to import ChatGPT output and turn it to a flowchart. And everything is free. So without any delay, let's get started and create a new flowchart. First thing first is to create a new prompt in ChatGPT. You need to open your ChatGPT and we need to write a new prompt here. This is a prompt I'm going to use and it has two sections. The first section is about the output format, which is important because we're going to get the mermaid flowchart format. And the second uh, section is about the, your flowchart, what kind of flowchart you want. In this case, I want to create a CICD pipeline for a .NET application. So when I click on send, I get uh, the flowchart in Mermaid format. I just copy that and go to the Drio. When you open the Drio for the first time, you will get the question, where do you want to store? And you can also decide it later. So from the top toolbar, you can choose plus, and then from there, you can choose Mermaid and then replace the existing one with the one you have from ChatGPT. And now click on insert. Here we go. You have a new flowchart in seconds. So now you can edit your flowchart. You can change the style. And for example, if you select some of the shapes here, you can change the style from a properties from the right side. There are lots of things that you can change in terms of the style, connections, arrows, and different things. Also, it is important to validate your process and not just rely to what you get from ChatGPT. So now I just changed the color of the shapes here. And probably I can change the deploy to production green to make it nicer. Here we go. We have a simple flowchart which is created by ChatGPT. Let's try another flowchart. We need to go back to ChatGPT. And here, the only thing you need to do is just to copy paste the same prompt and just change the part related to the flowchart. As I said, the first part is about the format. The second part is about the, the type of the flowchart you want to create. In this case, I'm going to ask for a Python app process which might uh, use Docker for the deployment and the CI-CD pipeline and probably some monitoring and troubleshooting route. But of course, you can add about whatever you want to create a flowchart. Immediately, I get the flowchart code in Mermaid format, and then I copy that and go back to Drio. I don't need to delete one create a new page here. So again, the same process and insert it here. Here we go. It's very nice. It's very interesting how easily you can create a flowchart. As I mentioned before, please make sure your flowchart is correct. Check everything before using it in your documents. I hope you like this video. Don't forget to like and subscribe this channel. That helps me to continue creating these videos. See you in the next video.